I could already tell this looks amazing. Do you know what it is? Today we're gonna make spaghetti arrabbiata or linguine arrabbiata. You can use any pasta you want for this. You'll see online most of the recipes will use crushed red pepper flakes. Many of the places, Italian restaurants here in the New York Metro, here in Long Island where I'm at, will use cherry peppers for it. And cherry peppers are delicious, give a really nice vinegary taste to it. Really makes it something special. Even if you can't find them where you're located, you can definitely get these on Amazon. So I have a can of San Marzano plum tomatoes, and these are good, Cento's good. Here's a bunch of basil I just picked from the garden. I think that's really, really nice in it. If you got fresh basil, use it. We have our garlic, we have our tomatoes prepped. Get your pasta water boiling right now because everything comes together really quickly. The sauce only needs like 10 or 15 minutes. So they're called cherry peppers or vinegar peppers. You can just take out the core here and you cut it and then there'll be a bunch of seeds in the middle. I like to just take them out so they don't all go in the sauce. After you take them all out, you can just kind of make little strips to about that much. When I'm serving it, maybe each person gets a couple little pieces of it. The real thing about these peppers is they impart a really, really nice, specific vinegar spice flavor. And once you have these peppers, you'll know them right away. I make a full pound of pasta for the majority of my recipes. I cook for my family. The great thing is if you're not, just have the recipe or even quarter the recipe if you like. And this is stainless. So we're gonna heat it to medium low, let it heat up for about three minutes before you put your olive oil in. All right, so once it heats up enough, you can put olive oil down. You can do use regular olive oil, or you can use really expensive extra virgin olive oil. The choice is yours. It's gonna taste pretty much the same regardless. The strongest flavor in this dish is going to be the cherry peppers, the spicy tomato flavor. I'm gonna put about a quarter cup of oil down. We're just gonna cook this until it gets lightly golden, that's it. It's gonna take about one or two minutes. You can see it's a little golden now. See that? A little bit golden. I'm gonna put a little bit of hot pepper flakes. And these, will, these are a little bit spicier than the cherry peppers. And then we're gonna put the cherry peppers in. Now these cherry peppers have vinegar, so Keep your nose away or it's gonna go right up. Let these cook for about 30 seconds, that's it. And then put tomato paste in and we're gonna cook the paste out for about three to five minutes. Fry the paste for a couple minutes. It'll boost that umami flavor a lot. And you always wanna fry your paste. Basically the paste is gonna flavor the oil, the oil's gonna turn red. It really helps give those dishes that something special. Now, you wanna boost the umami flavor even more here, use a little bit of anchovy. That's great too, and I love it. About three, four minutes, gonna put those little bit of cherry tomatoes I have. This'll just add to the textural element of it. And if you have a, enough cherry tomatoes, probably need about three pints worth, then you can make a full sauce, maybe four pints for a pound of pasta. Let's bring it to a light simmer. And while that's going on, I got my pasta water about to boil. So this is basically how you want to time it. There's nothing too critical about this sauce. If you think you're evaporating too much, you could just turn it off and then you can wait for your pasta and you can turn it back on. The water is boiling. Put in two tablespoons of kosher salt. And then stir it for about a minute so it doesn't stick. Under the Checo box and a lot of uh, better brands, they'll tell you how long for al dente. So, it is 10 to 12 minutes, it says. So cook it to about eight or nine and start testing it by tasting it. 
we don't have any salt in here yet, so let's save it. That's perfect spicy, very nice and spicy. I'm gonna put about a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so the pasta is about two minutes from being done. This uh, sauce has reduced a decent amount, as you can see. Test your pasta, about 45 seconds. You can drain your pasta in a colander. If you do, save a little bit of pasta water. You're not gonna need much at all for this. You might not, not need any. If you pull it wet, like I'm gonna do here, make sure you drain it pretty well before you put it in here. You don't wanna introduce too much water back into the sauce. All right, let me gently get this out of the way over here. And I have my heat on about medium low. And let's just gently get this sauce all coated all, all over the linguine. Needs about 30 more seconds. Now, if you think you're a little dry, you could just do a couple tablespoons of pasta water in there. All right, we got uh, the professional taste tester. This guy is the best taste tester in the family. What's that? Is that a cherry pepper? Yes. Yeah, what do you think? One, I, one I out really of 10. Spicy. I had this many times before, actually. I always love it, so I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah. Remember, he gave me an eight out of 10 on that pasta with broccoli last time, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I haven't forgotten that. That's uh... <laughs> 